Hey guys, it's Rodrigo here. In this video, I will I will show you how to install Deluge on FreeNAS 11.2. Uh, it's been a while since I've installed it, and I decided to make this video because I had a request on another video I had to show you how to install it and set it up properly. I'm doing this on the fly, so please bear with me. This might take a while. I'll try and keep it quick and short video. So first things first, let's log in. To make this video short, I've already installed the plugin. I'll show you here. So here it is, Deluge. I hope I'm saying that right. I think it's Deluge. It doesn't matter. So first of all, let's we will have to create a user in a group. And what I normally do is just create a username called admin. So you'd go here, add, then you put your username, admin, and for example, let's say admin, and I would select everything here, just to make it easier. But since it's already done, I'll just cancel it. So you'd create username admin, then group, do the same thing, create username uh, group admin, and after creating the group, you'll have to add the the username to the group so it will appear here as admin just press this right arrow and it will include the admin user in this group to make things simple so we go here add and the name admin and that's it pretty straightforward so after installing uh, the plugin you go here available and you would install here press install then press save and depending on I guess the internet speed and everything it might take a few minutes to install properly but after that's done you would go here storage and hopefully you already have a pool but if not you'll have to create a pool I've made one here this one's brand new so first but before this, let's just um, yeah, let's just here create a data set. Let's call this Deluge Advanced. Okay, everything is good. And then okay, so that's that. Let's just run this real quick because I know we will have to create at least four data sets, four folders under that. I just can't remember which one so let's just have a quick look. Management. Oh yeah, so the first time you log in it'll ask for the password. Normally the password is deluge, D-E-L-U-G-E -E, I think. Yeah, after that D-E-L-U-G-E -E, you say yes. You would pick this one here, connect, and I recommend changing the password. But since, yeah, normally I would recommend changing the password. If you don't mind it, you can keep it deluge. What I do is just leave it blank. So I'll just leave it empty like that and change. So next time I log in, I just print, press enter. I don't need to press, I don't need to write anything. No, it'll, it'll automatically log me in. So, as you can see, this is um, much more complete uh, in comparison with uh, transmission, which is what I was using before. So yeah, this is the folders I was saying. You need four folders, so you'll need to create four data sets. So download two, move completed two, move copy of torrent two, and auto add. This is very useful. So normally you can just add a torrent to this folder and Deluge will automatically download, start downloading the torrent. So I'll just create here. For example, I'll name this download completed. I'll just name it completed torrent. I'll just write torrent as so. And here I'd like to write upload. So 
just keep in mind these four names download completed torrent upload and okay we'll go back here to the pool where is it storage pool so go under your pool here deluge we will create four new pool uh, four new data sets name download let's see here that's fine okay download should be there as you can see create another one I think it was called what was the name download just have a quick okay completed right here completed mind you, you can name this whatever you want I just name it to keep it simple you can give it whatever name you want the same with the preferences over there go back here create a new one called torrent I think let me just double check yeah torrent go back there yep everything's good save and create the last one called upload upload cool okay next we will have to to make things simple grant permissions to each one of those four four data sets so we'll just go here edit permissions we'll put the user which you created before mind you you can name it whatever you want I just call it uh, admin because that's what I'm used to admin root you can name it whatever you want okay that's that Let's do the same thing with the other ones so I think it's this one let's see yeah admin you can leave this Unix doesn't really matter I like to grant everything because it's just me using it I don't have to worry about anybody else so it's just me okay two more to go it is permissions same thing admin yeah, and if you forget to change the permissions uh, it won't work properly so this is an important step okay last one permissions admin admin grant everything there you go yes confirm save cool what, what I'll do next is create the share folder oh these are old ones so I'll have to create a new one because I was doing some changes so I'll have to erase those older ones grant all permissions those older pools doesn't really matter if they're there it's just I don't like it all messy I like having everything organized okay yeah normally for the first time it'll ask you to activate the AFP service you can do that here wait sorry you can do that here activate whatever service you want AFP for Apple FTP NFS for Linux SMB Samba for Windows okay after that go to jails you will have here jail you'll have to stop it first or else it won't let you update so we'll stop that it is down now we can mount the points we'll create a new one we'll create four new ones for those four uh, folders we created so here Milo Deluge and completed here we will go 
just right here and write completed. This completed is this here. So when so it's like when you write something here, it has to be here under this name. And if you just write slash and the name, it'll auto create the folder. Okay, that's that. Do one more. I'm just doing it alphabet alphabetically. There's no like order you have to go through. So now the download right here slash download. Yeah, try not to make any mistake because if you write like make a typo, it won't work. So that's that. Okay, one more. Here, here, torrent. Oops, not necessary. Torrent, as so. Uh, okay. And the last one, I think it's called uploaded. But we'll just make sure. Mount. There we go. Upload. Okay, not uploaded. Upload. So right here, upload, save that, that should be it. So completed, download, torrent, upload. So completed, download, torrent, upload. Okay, that should be it. Let's just go back. We will now start this. Okay, if you want, we can just, yeah, connect. So that's that, that should be fine. So let's just make it a quick test. Okay, this is my shortcut, I'm on Mac. That's my IP, okay. I think it's this one. Demuge, there we go. So we have the four folders we created. Let me just try and get a uh, torrent. Okay, for example, I don't know what this is. Let's see, bird box. Okay, let's see that. Okay, let's go back to that folder. Come on. Here it is, deluge. Upload. We can just put the torrent directly there. Uh, okay, let's see. This can be sometimes picky. I don't know if it's even necessary. It's not gonna work. No, okay. Let's just try. Okay, went anyway. It's not working. Why isn't it working? Okay, you know what? Let's just go here. We'll restart this. See if that helps at all. Restart. Yeah, like I said, it's been a while since I've tried it. And before it was just a lot of trial and error. Let's see. Okay, connect. Why isn't it working? Hmm. But I think I might know. Maybe that data set, Deluge data set, which is here, maybe this isn't the permissions. Yeah, this is probably why. So let's just get this. Yeah, these permissions can be very tricky. That's what that's what makes it so good because there's extra layers of security. 
So let's see now. Okay, let's try and restart it. Where is it? No plugins, yes. Where it is no, it's installed. Restart. Hopefully it'll work now. If not, it's not going to be good for me. Okay. Management. You know what, maybe, yeah, okay, so maybe that's the problem. Let's see if this works. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, for some reason it didn't copy the torrent file correctly. Yeah, as you can see, downloading. You can put whatever torrent, for example, let's put another one there just to show you. Where is it? For example, I don't know. This one, this is a cool movie, call it. Let's put it here, paste it in there. And there it is. Now it's pretty quick. And afterwards, when it's finished, uh, the downloaded file will go here to complete it. And torrent will go here, as you can see. This is, uh, that's, a, that's a torrent. And it's downloaded these two in this folder right here, as you can see. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you need any help with anything else, just let me know. I'll be happy to... Um, create more videos. I enjoy helping you guys and Thanks for viewing. Hope this was helpful. Thanks and goodbye. Happy New Year